from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Tuesday, June the 21st, 2022. Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett's coalition has sped up its plan to self-dissolve, submitting a bill to do so last night and today, adding it to the legislative agenda at the Knesset for tomorrow. This reportedly after word that the opposition would present its own dissolution bill tomorrow, Wednesday. As we reported to you, Bennett, together with Foreign Minister Yair Lapid, made the announcement to disband last night. A difficult but right decision for Israel, they said. And calling for new elections, which will likely be held at the end of October, beginning of November. Lapid will serve as interim prime minister until that point. Bennett cited the accomplishments of the coalition, especially that it showed that Israelis from the right and the left could sit together, work together, and put aside disagreements for the sake of the state. With Bennett writing, we are brothers. The Likud party, meanwhile, in the opposition, is reportedly trying to put together its own coalition to avoid new elections and try and have former Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu lead the country once again. Lapid, meanwhile, is heading to Turkey on Thursday to meet with his Turkish counterpart, Mevlut Kavusoglu, to reportedly discuss the recent cooperation between the countries to thwart Iranian terror attempts to carry out attacks against Israeli tourists in Turkey. Interior Minister Ayala Chaked flew to Morocco yesterday. Israel's ambassador to Morocco, David Govrin, who joined Chaked in meetings there, tweeted in Arabic, on Sunday, that Chaked is expected to meet with the Minister of Interior, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, and some senior officials of Morocco, and will discuss cooperation between the countries in areas of common interest. And a delegation from Egypt arrived in Israel Sunday night. The foreign ministry wrote this was under the QIZ, the Qualifying Industrial Zones Agreement, between Israel, Egypt, and the U.S., writing that the delegation's arrival symbolizes another step in the warming trade ties between Egypt and Israel. This is the first visit of its kind in approximately a decade. Jewish basketball legend Lenny Rosenbluth has died. Rosenbluth famously led North Carolina to its first NCAA title as the Tar Heels beat Kansas's Jayhawks, led by Will Chamberlain, no less, in the 1957 championship game. Rosenbluth averaged 28 points per game in the Tar Heels' 56-57 regular season with a record-high 2,047 career points. Rosenbluth was inducted into the International Jewish Sports Hall of Fame in Israel and the National Jewish Sports Hall of Fame and Museum. After graduating UNC, Rosenbluth played for the NBA for two seasons and then became a high school teacher and basketball coach. Lenny Rosenbluth died Saturday in Chapel Hill. He was 89 years old. Holocaust hero Josef Walaszczyk has died. Walaszczyk was an undercover partisan in Nazi-occupied Poland, rescuing some 53 Jews during the Holocaust. He was recognized by Yad Vashem in 2002 as a righteous among the nations and was believed to be Poland's oldest living person with that distinction. He told Polish Radio in 2019, I can say that I am satisfied with my life. I fulfilled my human task. Walaszczyk died yesterday in Warsaw. He was 102 years old. Well, Jewish actor, comedian, director, writer, producer, and UN Goodwill Ambassador Ben Stiller met Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky in Kiev in that ambassadorial capacity on World Refugee Day yesterday. Stiller, son of Jewish comedian and actor Jerry Stiller, called Zelensky, a former comedian himself, my hero. Stiller tweeted, it was an honor to meet President Zelensky, to stand in solidarity with people forced to flee in Ukraine and worldwide and bring more attention to the humanitarian situation. Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Tuesday, June the 21st, 
At 7 o'clock, Rabbi Emil Hirsch explores the notion of freedom. At 7.30, actor-producer-director Tracy Ellis Ross talks about identity at the ADL Never Is Now conference, followed at 8 o'clock by a discussion from the conference on the challenges of gathering accurate data on hate crimes and how to use that data most efficiently, with Victoria Kirby York, Clarissa Martinez de Castro, and John C. Yang joining the ADL's Cheryl Drazen. At 9, Mark Golub sits down with Avi Goldwasser on L'Chaim. At 10, Shahar Azani speaks with Corey Feldman about his book, A Line in the Sand, on his experience as a volunteer combat soldier in the IDF. And coming up next, it's the ILTV's Insider. And that's the JBS News Update for Tuesday, June the 21st, 2022. I'm Tisha Bader. Stay healthy. Stay well.